Chris, uh, where are you guys located right now? Well, we're right now in a place called Bloomfield Park, and uh, it's a place where actually there's a beautiful sculpture of a lion. Uh, it's based as the Lion of Judah. But it's really a gift from American uh, Christian Zionists who want to stand with Israel, and they gave it here as a gift, and uh, the city of Jerusalem loves it. In fact, the guy that uh, who oversees all the sculptures around the city of Jerusalem told us this was his favorite sculpture. It's really impressive. Oh, wow. It's really beautiful. <laughs> What is it that motivates you to dedicate your life to report from Israel? Well, I guess the motivation comes from uh, a feeling of a calling of the Lord here to, uh, to come to Israel. I first came here in 1996, fell in love with the land and the people, uh, and then uh, the next year I came back and really felt a deeper calling for me, uh, Liz, my wife, our three children, Philip, Kathleen, and Grace, and so we moved here in uh, August of 2000, so we've been here more than 20 years now. For me, it originally just started out as a job. Uh, the news director asked me to come over here and I thought I'd be here a year or two and I have now been here 10 years in about a month so I'm now wow. married uh, I've got twins on the way oh, in wow. about another month and a half so <laughs> it has definitely become a, a life calling now can you talk about like the importance of having CBN Christian news coming out of the Middle East for CBN I would go back to CBN's founder Pat Robertson who came here the first time I believe in 1968 and uh, the Lord told him you've made mistakes other places don't make mistakes here because <laughs> really prophecy happens in here so uh, yeah. Pat Robertson has has laid a legacy for CBN and for us and that's been added to by Gordon who has uh, done some amazing films along with Aaron Zimmerman CBN has made a commitment to uh, to report from Israel to stand with the Jewish people and I believe in in a great part CBN has been blessed because we have been blessing Israel and the promise in Genesis 12 is that those that bless Israel will be blessed hmm. Yeah, I'd say in my 10 years here, the connection between the, the, the Jews and the Christians, I think, has definitely uh, increased and grown yeah. and become stronger. So there's been a lot of growth that way as well, too, that I've, that I've seen just in 10 years. I imagine Chris has seen probably even more in 20 years. Yeah, yeah, more in 20 years. We get comments from a number of Jewish people who watch our program, Jerusalem Dateline or CBN News or the 700 Club, and they really value the perspective that we give. It's not like the most of the mainstream media gives. Yeah. Uh, we, we try to be accurate, truthful, and, uh, and they really, really appreciate that, uh, that perspective. As Christians, uh, what's it really like living in Israel? They don't have the conveniences sometimes that we're used to in the United States, uh, but that's kind of small compared to uh, the ability, the, the real privilege to be here and reporting uh, on uh, what I kind of consider the front lines of Israel's history. Mm -hmm. And you not only get to report on Israel's history, but prophecy. Yeah. Uh, one of the main examples you can look at is, and we do stories on Jews returning here to the land of Israel, the promised land, which is something the Hebrew prophets said would happen thousands of years ago. And we're, we get to watch it, we get to document it. And as well, we, we do have the, the privilege to talk about uh, Christian uh, that are persecuted in the area so people can be informed about them, can pray for them. And, uh, and to just be able to tell Israel's story. So Jonathan and Chris, sometimes you guys are in dangerous situations on different assignments. What has the Lord taught you in those moments of danger? We do. We, uh, we definitely balance each other out. <laughs> I'm on the crazy side. He's on the more cautious side. <laughs> uh, so we get some cool things and then we also stay alive. So it's a good, <laughs> it's a good team we have going on. <laughs> yeah, and I think we try to uh, go where God is leading us, but we have been in dangerous places. We were with uh, a man named David Eubank. He has a ministry called Free Burma Ranges, overlooking a town called Bashika. At the time, Bashika was controlled by ISIS. So he told us uh, we were on the ridge where it had a little trench and you could peer over the, the edge of the trench. And he said, well, don't put your head over more than 30 seconds because ISIS has snipers and they could shoot you. So Jonathan was actually testing the envelope. He was like to about 29 seconds. And I'm thinking, Jonathan, get down, get down. <gasps> oh my so that's one example. And then another example, so we were just talking about it the other day, we're in Egypt. We went down there to cover the persecution of Christians. And that was probably one of the most harrowing place times we've had together, because we thought we were gonna be kidnapped. And oh, wow. uh, it, was pretty, it was straight out of a movie. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Thankfully, we weren't, but the, the scenario was quite, uh, quite frightening for, uh, for an hour or so. And thankfully, we pray before we go to places. We pray during we're in places, and uh, God has been gracious to lead us, guide us, and protect us. Yeah, I mean, one scripture I think that we've used frequently on our trips <laughs> is uh, Psalm 91. Uh, <laughs> and so we'll yeah. uh, pray that throughout the day. Chris carries a little little card in his pocket. It's also much needed for strength and energy because sometimes it's 110 outside uh, in the deserts of Iraq and we, you know, we don't necessarily have a lot of water and no AC. And so it takes a lot of stamina as well. So God definitely gives us the strength and stamina for that. Wow, well, praise God. He not only equips those he calls, he clearly protects them, as is the case for you guys um, and many believers around the world. And, and I, I would just add, we, we work together with a uh, wonderful news team uh, led by Rob Allman uh, there in Virginia Beach and also in Washington, D.C. And I think we all agree uh, about the importance uh, of Israel, and, uh, and they give us a great latitude to, to report on what's happening here. So it's a great team, uh, news team here uh, in Jerusalem, Virginia Beach, and, uh, and Washington. Yeah, Chris has been a great leader, especially uh, in that spiritual side as well. We are the Christian Broadcast Network, so keeping that the focus of what we're doing and why we're doing it mm. and who we're doing it for. Yeah, I love that. Well, if you want to support what CBN is doing in Israel, don't waste another minute. Give us a call. All you got to do is call us at 1-800-700-7000 and tell them that you want to designate your donation, your gift to CBN Israel. You can also designate that gift if you choose to partner with us online. All you got to do is go to CBN.com slash give. And when you partner with us, especially with CBN Israel, not only are you fighting against uh, anti-Semitism, which is still very prevalent in our world today, but you're helping Holocaust survivors and you're helping victims of terrorism and so much more. So don't waste another minute. And the promise in Genesis that they mentioned in that interview is that when you bless Israel, you will be blessed. Well, if you want to learn more about this topic, join Jessica for the next episode of Life Changers. You can watch this Israel-themed episode this Sunday at 9 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the CBN News Channel app, or you can always watch it on this by downloading the CBN Family app. It's free, easy to use, and works on any smartphone, tablet, or smart TV. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.